Good morning, students. This is Supramanjan, Faculty Department of Tripoli, Electrical and Electrical Engineering. I am going to teach Control System subject to you. So, in this class, we are discussing about the introduction of the subject control systems. So, actually, the subject contains uh, uh, the important different types of the control systems and what are the important components of the control systems and what is the definition of the control systems, right? what is the introduction of the control system, everything is there. But before we are discussing everything about it, uh, today's class we are discussing about the simple introduction of the control system. Right. And before we are discussing about the introduction, so as per the curriculum, so the, the course, the subject control system as course objectives. So these are the course objectives, this column, and the last column is course outcomes. That means after the completion of this course, the student can able to do this. So these are the list of the list of the different objectives of the subject and course our course outcomes is also listed out. So in detail we will discuss in further future classes about these course objectives and course outcomes. So today's class is simply we just we are discussing about the basic introduction of the subject. So you clearly see that. So the first we'll raise a question. So why we are studying the control system subject? What are the applications of these subject control systems? Suppose if I am sitting a room and I want to. Uh, the fan is running in the room and I want to control the speed of the fan. How can I control, the, control it with the help of a regulator? So this is a simple control system. It is a, it is a best example of electrical control system. And suppose I am driving a car. Due to traffic, I have to change the speed frequently and I can control the speed by using accelerator. So this is an example of mechanical control system. Third one is change the room temperature. For example, I am uh, I'm sitting in a, in a room and I have to change the room temperature to 23 degrees centigrade by the by the use of air conditioning. So air conditioning is it has a thermostat and it is controlled by the electrical signals. So that is why it is the example of electromechanical control system. So control system is not only used in engineering fields, it is also used in non-engineering fields also. Suppose control the price of the commodity by the demand and supply. So it is the example of economical control systems. So we can use this control system in medical fields, in biological fields. Without control systems, we cannot imagine our lives. So control system is used in every aspect of life. Knowingly or unknowingly, we are using control systems regularly in our life. We cannot imagine our uh, lives without control systems. So that's why we are going to study the subject control systems. So this control system subject is divided into two words. The name itself is called, it is. it has two words. One is control, second one is system. Right. So before, anyway, first we will discuss about the system. What is a system? So with a simple definition, the system is a collection of components which are connected as a unit to perform a task or simply a unit to uh, for, a, for any object. So we'll take a simple uh, example. I will explain the uh, system. For example, if I want to run the simple someone coaching center or a coaching system, or just like our college coaching system. So what are the components required to run the coaching system? So, one cl classroom is required, office room is required, so furniture is required in, in both in classroom and office room and the study material, that is also important part, study material is required. Right, so maybe with these uh, uh, the components, so the, these components are working as a unit to become a system, maybe the system, the system may give the desired output or not, right. And the second goal in the control system is control. What is the definition of the control is to guide or to command or to manage. So with this a concept, we want we are um, we are uh, defining the control system, right? What is control system? So 
we are able to control the system then it become the control system we are able to control the system then it is become a control system so what is our what is our quantity of interest we want to control the outputs and we need the desired outputs then that system become a control system so with a simple definition of this control system is a collection of components which are connected in such a manner that it gives the desired output so that is the control system so this control system is divided into the two parts one is open loop system open loop control system and closed loop control system you mentioned the, the other the word it uh, uh, introduce loop so open loop closed loop the name itself mentioned open loop what is the loop it is a closed path open loop means there is no closed path so in open loop control system it does not have any closed path but whereas in closed loop control system it has closed paths so that is the difference between the open loop control system and closed loop control system right so in a open loop control system the signal is moving from input to output only so the signal is moving from input to output only but whereas in the closed loop control system the signal moves from input to output as well as output to input so we'll define the open loop system with a example so automobile system is a best example for the open loop system so automobile system so speed control of the automobile system so speed control that is how to control the speed of a car we have an accelerator we apply the force or pressure on the accelerator how much force you apply on accelerator then speed will vary accordingly that means you can get the variable speed by changing the pressure or force on accelerator so what is the component of this open loop system so with this you see clearly with the black diagram concept so this is a control unit that is accelerator pedal the linkage and carburetor so engine vehicle so engine vehicle is the main component of the system right this accelerator linkage carburetor it is everything is a control control system that is a control unit control command that is control unit right engine is a main system this engine requires the fuel and this fuel is given by the engine is required the fuel and this fuel is given to the engine by the carburetor right this carburetor is linked with the accelerator with a linkage process with a linkage mechanism so we apply the more force on the carburetor valve that is we apply the more force on accelerator this carburetor valve will open more and rate of fuel flow will increase and we get more speed similarly if you want to reduce the speed what happen just simply reverse that is if you apply the less pressure on the accelerator carburetor valve will open less small quantity only and the rate of fuel will flow is decreasing and the speed is decreases right so this is the best example of the open loop system so if you want to get the desired output for this example what is the desired output so for example to maintain the 40 kilometers per hour is the desired output let us assume that uh, the desired output of this automobile system is to maintain the 40 kilometers per hour right so you see the actual black diagram of the open loop control system here the input signal input signal is given to the controller controller block and the controller block is given to the plant that is a process output this process signal uh, and the output of this process plant signal is output signal so clearly see that the plant is the main system you compare this black diagram with the previous example here what are the controller in the previous example the accelerator the linkage mechanism with the accelerator and carburetor is the controller unit and the plant there is a main component so plant is the engine engine is the plant of the uh, example of that particular automobile system and what is the output signal here the speed so desired speed 
for example, the desired speed is 40 km per hour. So that is the output signal. And what is the control signal here? So rate of fuel, how much rate of fuel will flow? No doubt here, the controller is a very important, it plays a very important role. It does not directly controls the outputs. So controller is directly connects, that is here, in the, with the previous example we will explain, the controller that is the accelerator directly control not use the control the speed. So the control the speed by the plant signal, plant only. So that is the control output signal. Output signal means the speed of the automobile engine, speed of the car is controlled by the engine only. But how much fuel will flowing to the engine is completely controlled by the controller. So that is a carburetor only. So that's why the controller plays an important role in the control system. So open loop system is the open loop control system that is if the input is calibrated as per the outputs you will get the desired outputs in the open loop control system. So in the open loop is that open loop control system is sufficient to get any desired outputs then what is the need of closed loop system? If everything is uh, 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 completed or otherwise open loop, open loop system is sufficient to get any desired outputs then what is the importance of the closed loop system? So that is the difference between the open loop control system and closed loop control system. So we'll we will explain the difference between the open loop control system and closed loop control system with the same example. Right, if you maintain the same force on accelerator at which condition the speed of the car will vary from 40 km per hour. For example, the, the, the motor that the car will the maintain the speed of the uh, car will maintain the 40 km per hour is a desired output without changing the input signal. Is the car will uh, a car will run with the same speed? What is the condition the speed of the car will vary from 40 km? For example, if a speed breaker will come or otherwise, for example, you see here the car, so it is a normal road, if any incline on the road, even without, even if the input signal is same, the speed of the car will reduce to 40 kilometers to some uh, less, uh, that is, let us assume here in this example, it is 35 kilometers. So without changing the inputs, we are, the output reduced from 40 kilometers to 35 kilometers, that means, the desired output in open loop control system, the desired output deviate from the, yeah, the, the output signal is deviate from the desired outputs without changing the input signal because of the external disturbances. So this is due to the external disturbance. Similarly, you can see here, if some in any decline in the uh, roads, so the 40 kilometers, the speed of the car will increase automatically without changing the input command, input signal. So it is clearly see that 40 kilometers to 45 kilometers the speed increases without changing the input. So this is due to the external disturbances. So in a close in external disturbances, which is in not only the external disturbances, even though with the internal disturbances also. So there is a disturbance internally in the system. Suppose due to the aging, some that is components, that is carburetor value may be dusted or accelerator may be get damaged or the linkage system between the accelerator and uh, the carburetor may be get the problem. So with this problem, by applying the pressure to, to get the res desired output for 40 km speed may not get in open loop system. So that is the main drawback of the open loop control systems. So the open loop control system does not give the, that is the desired output may deviate in open loop control system by use with these two reasons, due to these two reasons. One is due to the external disturbances, second one is due to change in the input parameters, due to change in the internal disturbances. So due to these two reasons, the open loop system may deviate from the desired output. Now what is we will discuss about the closed loop system. So before we are discussing about the closed loop system, you see, suppose 
I am able to control the speed of the fan using a regulator. So regulator is a controller unit. Fan is a plant that is a main system. In the control system, we require controller units. So controller unit without control the controller uh, units, we cannot expect the control system. A right? controller is the system component and control signal is the system variable. So input signal is the actuating signal. So this is a very important. Input signal is the actuating signal. That means what is the meaning of actuating signal? It called for which cause we are giving the signal. So that is called the actuating signal. So if we convert the open loop system into the closed loop system, some extra components are required. So with the same example, we'll discuss about uh, with the same example, we'll discuss about the difference between open loop system and closed loop system. So if we convert this automobile system as a closed loop system, there's some extra components are required. What are the extra components are required? The main extra component is speedometer. So speedometer measure the speed. As I said, in the incline is come, will incline or decline will come. The speed de deviate from 40 kilometers from the desired output. May it, it, uh, it will come to 45 kilometers or 35 kilometers. Then the driver, the eyes of the driver, even the driver, uh, the eyes of the driver is a control path here. So it eyes, it sees, uh, it senses, it sees, uh, it, uh, it senses the uh, the difference between the uh, the, the speeds that is from the uh, the different speed of the from the devi deviation of the desired output, then automatically he, he accelerates more or less to maintain the desired output or otherwise to get the required speed. So that is the concept of control system, closed loop system. So in the next class, I will discuss about the closed loop system and what are the difference between the closed loop system and open loop system and so the main in the syllabus so the, comp the complete the syllabus it contains what are the main uh, uh, the parts of the final uh, syllabus and everything we will discuss in the next class thank you